The last question is, should I reach out to my counselor or should I wait for them to contact me? And if so, how do I reach out to my counselor? So I did reach out to my counselor in high school and I waited for them to reach out to me. And when they did reach out, it was, let's meet for five minutes, make sure you're on the right path. Okay. So <laughs> I think that you should make a point to meet with your high school counselor because you do get assigned a counselor when you first start high school, at least you did in my school to reach out to them once a year starting freshman year. I know it may seem early, you might not know what you, where you want to go to school, but it's good to just like meet with them so they can get to know you. And get that to way, know them too. Yeah. <laughs> that way when you do get to the point where you're looking for schools, they will be better at helping you find a school that's good for you because they'll know you better. There's a foundation there. Yeah. Also, if you are, you know, you're freshman in high school and you know exactly where you want to go to school, they can kind of give you a little bit of a roadmap to what you need to do to get into that school because mm -hmm. it's important to start early I think especially if you want to go to a very elite school you want to make sure it's not just you know your junior year grades that are good you start off good freshman year uh, in terms of how do I reach out to my counselor usually when you get given a counselor you get their oh, email yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get their email snapchat instagram <laughs> uh, usually you get their email so you can try emailing them asking to set up an appointment but also just don't be afraid to like go down to their office because they are there all day that's a full-time job for them so they're in their office all the time so don't be afraid to go down there i think it does depend on the size and structure of your school too i i've definitely heard of other folks who have had the experience of not really meeting you know with their counselor that was scheduled by their counselor until later on in high school but um, from what I remember in my high school we started meeting with them once a year from freshman year on um, so it also it can seem a little weird that it's your responsibility to reach out to them if they haven't reached out to you so again it really depends on your school so the first thing you can do is ask, you know, am I supposed to wait until they reach out to me? Can I reach out to them? Are we doing yearly appointments, semi-annual appointments? So ask those questions and, you know, even if you just ask your teacher, that's fine. But I think it is different in every school. I think it can also seem really hard to schedule an appointment because you're at school for a certain amount of time and like you're in classes the whole time. And so a lot of students that I've talked to are like, well, I didn't want to miss class, which is a very valid point, but also, <laughs> One, sometimes you can, but two, a lot of times um, counselors or whoever is organizing the events will organize some sort of event that you can go to either like right after school or if there's some sort of free period. So right. definitely take advantage of those when they come up. Yeah, a lot of times their hours reach beyond the end of the class period, school day. Um, so sometimes after classes are over for the day, it's a good time. But most of the time your teachers will understand if you need to step out of class for... Just don't pick a class for you to test. <laughs> <laughs> or do. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler was like, yeah. 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 Where's Tyler? He's taking his test in the guidance mm. counselor. Mm. <laughs> Hanging out. Mr. P. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's one thing is I was always early to school. So when you're there early and there's only like 20 kids in a high school, there's not crazy amount of things to do so you just explore the halls and especially <laughs> as a freshman uh, <laughs> I explore the halls so anyway exploring the halls of the high school as a freshman there's open doors so you just kind of like peek your head and talk to whoever um, did that so, just right? Tyler well, <laughs> every open door anyway <laughs> hey, uh, judge, judge, judge. but yeah that's how I actually met Mr. Pete my first time for my guidance counselor was just walking by and saying like oh hey what's going on and then um, <laughs> ended up doing you know uh, it's one of those uh, I don't know, I even know what you call them anymore but like the sports boards or like the scrolling text happens mm -hmm. you know outside of school anybody know what I'm yeah. talking about sure anyway because, because <laughs> I just like talked to him in passing mm -hmm. I programmed that in the morning. So then like yes. that became, again, kind of a stepping stone with the career thing that I mentioned earlier. Mm. Of, oh, okay, like he likes computers. He oh, I know what you're talking about. What's it called? Uh, it, like just I'm like thinking in my head marquee, but that's marquee like is a the code. Just screen outside, yeah. that chain, that's slideshow. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm just explaining exactly yeah, what Yeah, you're just <laughs> reiterating okay. it. I'll put, I mean, I'll put a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. I should know the word. I'm a writer. I don't know it. Uh, it's not. <laughs> I think sometimes it is called marquee. 
There we go. Yeah, that's, that's all we're right. gonna call it. Yeah. Just pop a picture up on the video. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a picture up. Uh, but yeah, so that was one of those things where, uh, had I not been wandering the halls just meeting people, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> um, but it also built a rapport between me and my counselor before I even knew he was my counselor. So. Do you ever think he pulled you into his office because he was a little concerned about you? <laughs> Uh, Lonely kid wandering the hallway. What's he up to? Just <laughs> kicking my feet in the hall. <laughs> One tear screwing down. Aww. But no, it's um, I, I think <laughs> it's it's worth, and and that doesn't only go for high school but college. Explore your surroundings. Uh, it never hurts unless there's strict signs posted <laughs> to uh, explore anywhere and just kind of see what's going on. And uh, after school as well. If you're after school, you can see what different programs are around before even going to a uh, event where it's like extracurricular event. You know what I'm talking about, like sports. <laughs> club. Sports. sports. No, no, like I'm trying to think of the activity fair. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct words for it, but it's like intramural sports, um, like chess club, like all those kind of things. They everybody has representatives there. And you can sign up for different events. Um, before that happens, if you had explored the halls, you might discover you those things. Known already. So sports. <laughs> Sports, collegeexpress.com. Collegeexpress.com. So, I, I, there is value to doing that, but yes, you should definitely contact your counselor right out of the gate, and you might not know who your counselor is. Going back to what I was saying about wandering the halls, but oh you might get get off of this one. I'm just saying, it's a thing. But if you don't know where you fall into the bracket, if it is by last name or any of those things you might not know who your counselor is beforehand. So there are ways to meet them before you have the official invitation out. <clears throat> so I think you should definitely go about doing it that way, as well as Mackenzie said, if you're aiming for a Ivy League school or an elite school, you want to start off early and figure out what kinds of things, what t test scores, test prep and all that will come from a guidance counselor as well, test prep, uh, what sort of activities, going back to my activity fair, <laughs> uh, and what your your academic career should look like, and if you're going to be taking AP courses or any of those courses, how should you go about doing that? Mm -hmm. And your guidance counselor is going to be a massive resource for all of those things, so the sooner you meet them, the sooner you can get started, and the sooner you can make that money. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's that easy. That's, Direct path. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs>